Oh, hi, I'm Andre, a solutions engineer at PDFtron. In this video, what I want to do is go ahead and implement an endpoint that's going to return us an image from the PDF document or an MS Office document that we're trying to request. This is super useful when building document lists or just kind of a file document navigator inside of our React app. So from our file storage, we instead of kind of requesting the all the PDF documents and trying to render out all the thumbs on the fly, we can actually go ahead and get high quality thumbnail renders directly from our Node.js server. Now, in an alternative application, if you actually want to build your own kind of client side slash server side rendering solution, you can do so uh, with this endpoint as well, where you can return specific pages. Now the endpoint itself is going to be pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, perfect. So we already have our generate invoice endpoint. Uh, we have the watermark endpoint. We have the convert from office endpoint. And we're just going to go ahead and add another one. Now we are going to follow very similar. So we're just going to copy this one to uh, speed it up. And here, what we're going to do, we're going to call it uh, thumb nail and it's gonna we're gonna have request and response so let's just close it and inside of it here very similar we can actually pull off the file name of the file that we're trying to get the thumbnail for and again set up the input and output path okay and again, there's a lot of kind of duplicating logic, but I just want to make sure for someone watching the video, uh, they can follow along whatever the video they kind of land on. Okay, and let's actually implement our function that we're going to pass into the PDF net. So here, instead of kind of convert to PDF, we can say uh, get um, from uh, PDF, let's say. Okay, so inside of it, what do we want to do? is uh, go ahead and kind of spin up that document uh, from the file path that we provided. So PDF net, PDF doc dot create from file path. We're gonna give it the input path. Okay. And after that, let's go ahead and lock it down. So doc in it securely handler. And the next one is gonna be we're going to declare the PDF draw object. So like this, await PDF net PDF draw object that create. And here, what it takes is a DPI value. Now, uh, 92 is pretty good. Um, so that's the default kind of dots per inch value. Uh, it's pretty good if we're generating kind of smaller thumbs or maybe medium to high, but if we're displaying a really large uh, kind of output, or maybe we want to pass it into a, an OCR engine, then I would bump up the value to maybe something like 300 DPI. Uh, but for this example, let's go ahead and keep it 92. And then uh, we're gonna, you know, for the thumbnail preview, most generally we want to kind of get the first page. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm just gonna say cure page is await doc that get page and we're going to pass it an index of one to get the first page out of it and then after that we're going to await the pdf draw method that we've just created um, to actually export it so export it uh, the current page uh, with the settings uh, we passed in to the output path that we've declared and this one is actually going to be a png Okay, and uh, it's gonna be PNG as well. Okay, what that looks good to me. Uh, let's actually go ahead and uh, hook it up to our PDF net endpoint. Okay, so let's go ahead and pass the get thumb from PDF method into the PDF net run with the cleanup, uh, and then returns the promise. And in case everything is good, you know, we will just read it from uh, kind of our directory here and then uh, return the image. Now in this case the MIPE type is going to change so uh, let's now for PNG image uh, the MIME type is actually image 
uh, slash PNG. So let's make sure that we kind of set the right byte type for the file that we're going to return. Okay, um, this looks good to me. Let's actually go ahead and start our server up and try seeing if it runs. Now my server is running on port 4000. Uh, that's the port we specified. Uh, so inside of our browser, we can actually kind of navigate that and try um, with the file name we're going to provide. So to do that, uh, let's pull up our browser, go to localhost 4000. And inside of it, uh, we're going to hit our new uh, kind of endpoint. So it's going to be, uh, let's see, the name of the thumbnail. Yep, we'll call the thumbnail. So let's say thumbnail. And then we're going to provide a query parameter, which is going to be the file name. And we're going to say file name equals, and let's get the sales quote um, thumbnail that we've just generated. Okay, and perfect, here we go. Uh, we actually got the image uh, that we now can use in kind of maybe our file previews or file controller where the users are kind of browsing a whole bunch of those sales quotes and then they kind of want to pick the exact that they want to go in without having to load up the file and preview. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching.